Welcome to section 9 of our course. At this point, we're starting to cook with some fire. As we've completed our wireframing of our entire system. In the previous section, we flushed out the remaining sections of our responsive web design and completed the wireframes for our system. In this section, we'll be growing our web design skills by building a clickable wireframe prototype to help us explore our solutions in action. In this video, we'll be defining why to prototype, plan our clickable prototype flow, build out some interaction states, and create a prototype using the Envision app prototyping software. So let's get going. Designing the whole system allows us as user experience designers to visualize and see the connections for the experience we are crafting. Now we will take the system and put the action through a prototype. In this first video, we will connect our wireframes into a clickable prototype. A prototype is an early stage model for a solution of a machine, product, or interaction of a service or a website. Prototyping attempts to be a fast and cheap way to validate and test an idea before bringing it to market or developing it in live code. In user experience, we use prototypes all the time to test interactions, explore our solutions, and evaluate and test our experiences. The web is inherently interactive, and we need to build our thinking and test our reach to reach that expectation. This is where clickable wireframes come into the mix. This prototyping process allows us to connect our static wireframes, the pages that we built in Illustrator, and build a way for us to use and move through our website wireframes. Typically, clickable wireframes are used to review how interactions are going to be applied to the system. They allow reviewers and clients to experience the system rather than just look at a series of static pages. Clickable wireframes can be robust and appear like everything is built or can just be used to explore one aspect of a web system. For our convenience, we are going to build a clickable wireframe prototype that allows us to move through the pages we have wireframed to test our system. Let's open up our wireframe project. All the responsive pages are laid out in a grid. We need to plan out a flow through the website we then will build for our clickable prototype. Let's make sure our user explores the website in this manner in order to explore the system. Just like we observed our user, let's go from the home page landing to the product page to the product detail to adding to a shopping cart to a shopping cart to checking out to confirming and then to returning the product detail. Let's review our current wireframes and make sure that all these sections are wireframed. If you notice, we have the flow we just discussed is similar to the screen flow that we observed from our users. We have downgraded the screen flow as a way to make our clickable prototype more direct and on purpose. As a prototype, our plan should explore a process. Or an action. Like how does a user get through the website? Or how many clicks does it take to adding a product to a cart? Or how does the user interact with the content? Planning for prototyping is about walking through an experience. Prototypes are incredibly useful tools. However, beware that they can become complex very quickly. A prototype should be used to test an idea. Clicking through a wireframe makes it more engaging and it then helps us to build and craft the experience.